I do. I once asked, if you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? I was asking that question. Now I know the answer to that question. When your family, your company, and all the people in your orbit have become the targets of an unfounded, politically motivated witch hunt, supported by lawyers, prosecutors, and even the fake news media, you really have no choice. Anyone in my position not taking the Fifth Amendment would be a fool, an absolute fool. Accordingly, under the advice of my counsel and for all of the above reasons, I respectfully decline to answer the questions under the rights and privileges afforded to every citizen under the United States Constitution. This will be my answer to any further questions. So the 2020 Statement of Financial Condition contained false and misleading valuations and statements. Is that correct? Same answer. You knew at the time it was finalized that the 2020 Statement of Financial Condition contained false and misleading statements. Is that correct? Same answer. In preparing the 2020 Statement of Financial Condition, Alan Weisselberg, Jeff McConney, and others worked at your direction and followed your instructions to inflate asset valuations on the Statement of Financial Condition by employing false or misleading assumptions. Is that correct? Same answer. Is that your p signature on page two? Same answer. Uh, with regards to your old post office property, is it correct that through the use of the inflated statement of financial condition to obtain a favorable interest rate, you were able to save at least 5% per annum in interest payments on the construction loan of up to $170 million from Deutsche Bank? Same answer. Is it correct that absent the $170 million construction loan from Deutsche Bank, you would not have obtained the ground lease on the old post office property or been able to provide the renovation to the property that occurred? Same answer. 